I think breast cancer has affected my life, um, all of my life. Uh, my mom was first diagnosed with breast cancer when I was in the third grade. We were told we weren't allowed to hug her, but that was really all we knew. We didn't know anything else. Nobody talked about it. There was no hospice, there was no chemotherapy, there was no radiation therapy. It was just women who had lost breasts and then lost their lives. How many of us have been touched by breast cancer? C.J. Taylor was, and she chose to dedicate her life to helping others beat the disease. C.J. from day one had always said, uh, no child should grow up with a mother due to loss of breast cancer. That was her crusade. So C.J. got to work. She fought to improve treatment for women with breast cancer, then founded the Susan G. Coleman chapter in Puget Sound. Just two of the legacies left by one woman, a woman, with a mission. CJ was a powerhouse. She knew what she wanted to accomplish and she set out to accomplish it and she did. Including breast screening for women, especially those who can't afford it, and continuing care for those who are diagnosed. She had been the founding mother of the vision behind the Comprehensive Breast Center at our local Providence Hospital. That was the first breast center in the region and probably nationally that really co-sited breast surgeons, medical oncologists, radiologists, all in one location for patients to see. CJ understood the power of people working together and she made it happen. People admired CJ so much that they automatically said yes. And they knew that the cause that she was asking them to participate in would be worth their time, their money, their sponsorship and their ideas. And so give us your recollections of that first race which you really were responsible for organizing. It was very, very nerve wracking because it rained the night uh, before and during the night. So it was a new race and I didn't know how committed people would be. More than 3,000 people came to that first race despite the rain. More women than had ever run in a Seattle race. And now that race draws 13,000 or more. It's clear, CJ started something special. You know, when you're 45, living five years isn't enough. <laughs> so when they come to the race for the cure and they see all of us, 20 years, 30 year, 15 year survivors, they know that they too can live that long. And to me, it's just one giant festival of life. <laughs> Few people accomplished as much as CJ in her too short life. She lived to the fullest, community activist, wife, friend, and most importantly, mom. She had so many uh, things and causes and reasons to fight. Um, to keep alive to see her children grow was her biggest fight. CJ, if she was sitting here today, would say, continue the quest to eradicate breast cancer and do it through the Coleman. <laughs>